While a lot of people are having so many unanswered questions about the shooting of beloved rapper AKA, here are 10 facts you should know about AKA's assassination in Durban which has left South Africans in big shock. Firstly, the rapper's Durban visit was part of the continuation of his birthday celebration and a tour ahead of his anticipated release of his mass country album on 24th February. He was billed to perform at Yugo on Friday evening. Secondly, AKA was shot by two assassins who worked on foot and they had to pull their trigger from across the street. Thirdly, the police have spoken to some of the witnesses who were present at the scene. Next, the police is currently sourcing CCTV footage from surrounding businesses. These, they believe, will help them to actually identify the people or the person who pulled the trigger and to expose others who were accomplices to the crime. Next, the motive of the shooting is still not known till this particular day. Nothing was taken from AKA during the shooting. The assailant only opened fire and didn't take anything from the rapper. According to the information police have, there are only two people who were shot on that particular day. Next, the incident happened ahead of the rapper's much vaunted appearance at the Durban All White concert at the Durban ICC. Again, AKA had no bodyguard as earlier reported. This is one of the most heartbreaking things about AKA shooting. There was no bodyguard with him when he was shot. And lastly, the rapper was taken down around 10 p.m. on Friday, the 10th of February, 2022. In more news, American rappers pay tribute to AKA. Reacting to his passing, his parents wrote, It is with extreme sadness that we acknowledge the passing of our beloved son and confirm his untimely and tragic passing on the evening of February 10th, 2023. We are awaiting further details from the Durban police.